Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So today is Thursday, guys, and it's around 11.48 in the early afternoon, morning, whatever you want to call it, before noon. And I got up today, I slept a little bit late, I was up a little bit early, and then I fell off to sleep, and anyway, I got out of bed at like 10.20. Put on the news, and I uh, put on the television, well, I didn't put on the TV till after 11 because I wanted to see, I wanted to watch um, Price is Right. And there was a news thing on saying that O.J. Simpson died. Very sad. No matter what you feel, how you feel about, if you believe he did it or whatever, I have, I have my personal opinion, but I, I don't really feel comfortable saying it right at this point. But regardless of whether he did or not, he, it's very sad. And, and right now he'll be meeting his He's meeting his maker, so, and you know, God always forgives, so, who knows if, what, what, what the truth really is, I believe it is one way, but I'm not going to say, like I said, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so, um, I was just doing that, futzing around, and I got up, when I was, since I was, when I got up, I was like, oh, I'm going to get dressed now, because I have plans today, I got to get some organization done in the kitchen, I got to make a couple of things, cooking-wise, and, um, so I said, let me get dressed instead of procrastinating, laying on the couch for two hours, then getting up and getting dressed. No, I got dressed. I felt good. I put my clothes on. I put my little makeup on, do what I had to do, brush my teeth, all that stuff. And yeah, so now I'm eating just a little something. I feel like it's, it's only, it's 10 to 12. I don't really feel like breakfast, but I don't really, don't really feel like lunch. But so what I'm having is I have one hard, hard boiled egg. And what I did was. I like smashed it up with um, a little bit of mayo and a little bit of honey mustard. And then I have, well, honey mustard's on the side over here. And then I have my, my salad that I made the other day. Remember that salad I made? Um, I made it with the, um, with, the, with the coleslaw dressing. It's really good. And I'll tell you, the vegetables and stuff are not soggy. They're a little, they're a little soft, but I like them like that. Still has crunch, see? So... I'm just having something light. So, I forgot to come on and say hi. So, my live was so much fun last night. I need to apologize, though. I know. It was a little chaotic and hectic because Jen. But... It was nice. She was just so excited, talking, you know, constantly talking over me, and worried about everybody saying hi to her and and her. And it was all about Jennifer, but it's always all about Jennifer. That's just how she is. She's cute. She loves. She loves attention. So it was a little hectic, but it was fun. And I hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was nice to celebrate with all you, all my friends, on YouTube, and all over, whatever. Love all of you, and you make my life really, you really enrich my life. And I hope you all really know that. So yeah, I'm gonna eat. Watch the end of prices, right? And then I'm going to get in the kitchen. I got stuff to do, guys. I'm going to take you along with me. Okay? I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So it's almost 2 o'clock. I got up about a half hour ago, went in the kitchen, put my, my iPad in there, looked around the kitchen, was enthusiastic earlier about... Organizing my drawers that need to be organized in the kitchen. And I literally, it was like, almost like a, uh, somebody had switched, had flicked, like the light switch. To, from on to off. And I was back in the mode where I just didn't feel like doing anything. You know, and usually when I have a day, like a rough day, the day before... I, um, what is that? 
I tend to the next day have a little bit of a lull, you know. But I felt really enthusiastic this morning when I got up. I felt enthusiastic. I felt motivated. I felt excited about the day and all that. And I, and I still am. I'm not really, I'm not depressed or anything like that. But I just feel like, ugh. Like I literally just took, unplugged the iPad, brought her back in the living room, and sat here at the living room table. And I'm just watching a little bit of television on and off. It's really, well, the volume's not even on. I'm just glancing at it. And I'm just sitting here. And I'm just really just taking the time to just see how I feel. I'm not going to push myself to do anything. I am going to make dinner soon, later, you know, and I have plans for dinner, which I'm very excited for, a recipe that I haven't done in a very, very long time. So I'm excited for that. But, um, but yeah, I just, you know, this is it. This is what I'm doing. Um, let me see something. I, um, I might just do a little coloring. Yeah, I might just do that. And that's okay. I made a little iced coffee. I'm just sitting here. I have a few things that I have to get done. Like I have to sweep my kitchen floor and I have to clean off the table. And I haven't done anything really from last night. Last night was such a, a hectic night, you know, with, with the live and all. So I have to vac uh, sweep it, vacuum in there and do all that clean my counters off and stuff, but I'll do all that right before I cook dinner and, um, or after dinner. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to kind of take it easy today. I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to listen to my mind and just do what I'm doing and sip my iced coffee. And that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm going to get my coloring stuff together, and then maybe I'll show you guys a little bit. I like to show you guys when I color a little bit. I don't know. Some people probably don't like it, but maybe it's boring or whatever. But yeah. We'll see, right? All right, people. So this is the one I'm doing now. I started the other night, and I forgot I didn't finish it. So I was doing this one. Pretty, right? Love the purple. Yeah. So I'm just going to color a few more minutes. It's after four, and then I'm going to get going with what's for dinner. So get ready, guys. All right, guys. So I'm um, coming on because I'm going to make dinner now. And what I'm making now for dinner is Sloppy Joe's. Yes, I'm excited. We haven't had Sloppy Joe's, and if I can tell you, it's got to be years uh, maybe maybe two or three years i don't even know i used to years ago buy the man witch and then i started making you know recipes of it and i just haven't made it in a very long time so i saw somebody make it the other day and i was like oh my god who was it i forget i forget who it was but i don't know i was like oh my god i gotta have i have chopped meat i have the stuff i'm gonna make sloppy joes tonight so um I had a red pepper in my freezer. It was whole. I literally froze it whole a couple of weeks ago because it was going it was gonna go bad. And I'm like, I'm gonna just stick it in the freezer. And I stuck it in the freezer and I defrosted it now. So it's probably gonna be a little watery, but it's gonna be in, in with the meat. So the moisture in it will be completely fine. So I'm not worried about it. So yeah, so let's get started. So I gotta get onion. Um, I looked up a recipe just for a reference because you know me. Um, all right. All right, so I need onion, I need pepper, bell pepper, which I have, I need garlic, mustard, hmm, ketchup, brown sugar, right? Kosher salt, okay, and black pepper. So simple. Oh, 
Oh, this is so simple. This is like a, a, a half hour recipe. Let me go gather up my stuff that I need, guys. Be right back. All right, so I have two yams here, two sweet potatoes. I'm gonna stick them in the microwave. One's for me, one's for um, for Cooper. He hasn't had a sweet potato. He's been having a lot of carrots, so I'm gonna, I have a little bit of carrots made and I'm gonna give him a, a sweet potato tonight. And I just boiled up some chicken drumsticks for him, so he's gonna have that. And rice, like he, you know. Little rice and little sweet potato. Um, all right, let's get going on this. So let's cut up the onion and we'll, um, we'll start the ground beef. I have garlic here. I have to put in my container. Do like four nice sized garlic cloves. Seriously, way to go. Can't lose garlic. It could be rinsed off. It's completely fine. Nobody's gonna die if they rinse off their garlic. <laughs> All right. Let's get the ground beef going. Let's get the, um, the frying pan. Now, I'm not going to make an enormous amount of this because it's only me and Frankie eating it. Billy doesn't like it. Billy does not like, um, he hasn't tried it in a very long time, but he does, I know he doesn't like it. He, he didn't, he didn't used to like it, so. And he usually doesn't change his mind on things most of the time anyway. Um, oh, I just, I just like spotted up my glasses. All right, guys. Still looks foggy. What if I never love again? So, um, I feel a little bit better now. I didn't do my drawers. I didn't do the drawers and do much but coloring and hung out and watched Little House on the Prairie. And that's fine. That's what I felt like doing. And that's what I, my head and my heart and my soul said to do. And that's what I did. I gave into it. I'm not going to fight it. I, I tell, I'm telling you, I'm not going to fight it when I need to be. What I need to be is what I need to be. And that's all there is to it. Right. So, let's go. <laughs> can't fight the feeling. I can't fight the feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I'm fighting for. All right. All right, let's put this in here on high, and then we'll wait for it to get hot, and then we'll put a little of um, a little olive oil, we'll probably even a little butter. I'm running a little bit low on butter, so um, what is today? Today's Thursday. Oh, I have like a whole nother week too. I'll have to get some more butter this weekend. Um, yeah, I'm just talking out loud. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'll probably put a little piece of butter and a little olive oil in there. Let me get a knife. Let me get a knife. Crappy rainy day here in upstate New York, guys. What's your weather like? like rainy and windy and I think tomorrow is supposed to rain too it's not that chilly I think it's like in the 60s but it still feels you know it feels like dampish and chilly um it's not that great so today was a good day to stay in the house I'm hoping over the weekend I can get out there and at the, in the yard and start the, getting the garden ready because I'm just so anxious to get my garden ready I'm so anxious can't wait Cannot wait for that. Let me check this because I smell it already. I, when you can smell the um, sweet potato, you know it's 
I don't want it to overcook. I think the smaller one might be done. about. Let's put it on for another two minutes and um, that little one should be done. The smaller one that I'll do, I'll probably I'll check the other one, see if the other one's done. All right, so let's cut the, on the garlic. Got about five garlic cloves here because we like garlic. Oh, that's going to be hot now, so let's get it in the should do about a tablespoon of, um, of butter. So let's show you. Oh wait, yeah, that's where you're supposed to do it. Okay. Um, for my physical therapy to start and uh, all that. So, because I'm taking the medicine, but I mean, it's taking it, making it better, like I guess reducing the swelling, but it still hurts to do stuff with. And as soon as I start doing stuff with it, it hurts. So that's not good. That's why I have to, I think they uh, have to do the therapy to build up my arm strength again. I don't think it's We'll see. and maybe a little left over. Because I'm a righty, so, and of course it was my right arm that I hurt. Eh, what are you gonna do? Let's get that potato out and get the other one. One is done. We'll put these over here. Nice. I'm gonna cut this one open, and this will be cool first. Let it get cool. All right. So we're gonna let that ground beef get cooking. It says to cook it on a high heat to make it kind of like a little crispy. Yeah. Um. So. I haven't really drank any drank anything today. So all of a sudden I'm really thirsty. Not good. Alright. Mm. Remove the beef, drain the excess liquid. Um Add onions and bell pepper to the pan. Left brown for another two minutes. Okay. All right. So, going to let that brown. When it's ready, we'll drain the liquid, drain the grease out, and then put the onions and the garlic in. And then let it cook for another couple of minutes. Probably 
week calls for one onion, but you know, just have, if you watch my channel, we go through a lot of onions. We, if, if the recipe calls for one onion, I put two. If it calls for two, I put three. We just love, we are big, big onion people. I bet I got, I buy two bags of the onions now. I, I'm literally actually trying to find the big, big bag, but I haven't been able to find a 10 pound bag anywhere. But um, I just buy two because when I buy one, I'm, it's gone. You know, I'm looking for more onions, so I have to either pick it up the next week or, you know, because I, I mostly do a two-week shopping. Not all the time. Like this week, we only did like a one, a one-week shopping. So, um, but I went back to the store and got another bag of onion because I only got one when I went to Walmart. So when I went to shop right, I got another bag because I, 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 I couldn't not. And um, I got another thing of butter, but I did a lot of baking. I did, um, I missed my thing here, it's dirty, so it's in the sink. Um, I got another uh, pound of butter, but I did a lot of baking this week um, with the, the cake and brownies and stuff this weekend. And so um, I'm going to need butter again. It's getting nice and crispy like it says to get. Mm. Smells so freaking yummy. I gotta get these onions cut up. All right. Okay. Cooper's going to eat a little late tonight because he had some of his dry food earlier. So he hasn't come in yet for his food. So I assume he's going to want to eat a little bit later. Make it up for you the day before yesterday. He didn't, he didn't eat all his food the day before yesterday. I think I'm going to cut these in more, in more like chunks, I think. Then, then slice it. Let's drain this, um, let's drain the, uh, the stuff, the grease out of here. We don't want to lose any of this, so. Oh, I could have used the, um, the paper towel, the paper towel. My God, the paper towel method, but I'm just going to do this. losing a little bit and the, the beef I won't put back in the pan. <laughs> the garlic I'll rinse off but not the beef. Koopy will come in there and eat that little piece of the floor. All right. Let's put the onions and the garlic in. 
Um, I gotta ask Frank what he's gonna have with the um, the sloppy joes. Let me ask him. I made a sweet potato. What are you going to have with the sloppy joe? Do you have something? All right. Let's add the... Let's lower this a little bit now. We don't need it as high. I'm going to wait a minute to put the garlic in. God almighty, I'm always dropping everything. I have to put butter in it because I put a, like two tablespoons of butter. He likes certain stuff, so. Yum. Oh, guys, look at this. Does that look amazing? Let me see something. I have another half of onion, I think, in the fridge. I'm going to add to this. I'm telling you, the onion, I just love it. I crave it. We crave it. The more onion, the better. going to have um, the leftover of the smashed chicken I made the other night. Um, I have um, raw chicken, raw left, you know, ones that I didn't cook. So I'll make that fresh for him. He'll have that. That's what he wants. So that's what he's going to have. Let's put the garlic in. Right, let's look at the recipe again just to check on to see exactly what to do. Mm. Oh shit. Green, activate and onions and bell pepper to the pan. Alright, I didn't add the bell pepper, I gotta do that. Get the, but, the butter cut up, the, the bell pepper cut up. Like that. Saute a little bit. Smells good. Looks good. I'm telling you, if you don't, you can't use your peppers up right away. Stick them in the freezer. Stick them in a Ziploc bag. Slice them up, and you can do that. You don't have to put do it like I did. I just took it and put it in in the freezer <laughs> like that. And everybody was like, "Mom, what is that pepper doing in the freezer? What do you mean?" <laughs> it's <laughs> and and I'm using it. I normally would have just thrown it away if it was going, it wasn't, it wasn't that, that, it wasn't that it was bad, it was just going a little soft on me, so I'm like, either I'm going to use it now, or I'm going to put it in the freezer, and so, the freezer is the best thing for that kind of stuff, too. You don't realize how much you can utilize if you put it in the freezer. You really don't. You don't. Oh, God, the stupid sticker. How many times do you do that? You find the freaking sticker. 
left on the pepper or the onion or the tomato. I do that a lot. I'm sure we've eaten a lot of stickers in our time. And didn't even know it. Right? How many stickers have we eaten? Or flies that we that flew in our mouth. We didn't even know it. Who knows? peppers in now. Looks like tomato, really. Alright, so let's see. It says... Alright. Uh Great. All right, let's add the mustard. Let's get the mustard, the ketchup. Mustard, the ketchup, and the brown sugar. Let this cook a little minute. See all those bits and pieces on the bottom? Oh, that's where all that flavor is, guys. All that flavor right there is what makes your dish flavorful. All right, so how much mustard? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mustard, you need... Be, 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 be. Two tablespoons mustard, yellow mustard. Right. If this was baking, I would measure it, but I don't need to measure it. Uh, yeah. Two tablespoons is, let's say, one. I'm going to add a little bit more. Because I'm sure the rest of the meat that I'm making, I didn't make, I made, I made less than, um, I, I made more ground beef than what the rest of the called for. Alright. Three-fourths cup ketchup. I'm going to measure, kind of measure that one because... Tablespoons and teaspoons are different than cups, you know what I mean? I don't want to really know. So it says how much? Three-fourths cups ketchup. Wow, that's a lot. So that's one. Uh, 
Okay. Um, uh, we're going to get the brown sugar and the salt and the pepper. Mmm. Guys, this smells so freaking good. So good. I don't know why my husband wouldn't like this. I mean, it's all the things that he likes. I'm going to make him taste it. <laughs> he always gets so mad at me because I make him taste things. Because you know what? I hate when he says he doesn't like it, but he doesn't know if he likes it. He just thinks he doesn't like it because maybe he doesn't like a certain flavor. So I get mad because I want him to taste it. And then if he doesn't like it, fine, you know? Like, of course, everybody has their own taste buds. But don't tell me you don't like it if you don't know if you haven't tasted it. Am I right or am I right? Or am, or am I wrong? Let me get the brown sugar. Like, open up your mind, you know? I, can't, I, I just, that frustrates me so much when he does that. All right, brown sugar is how much? Two tablespoons brown sugar. All right, two tablespoons. All right, I'm, I'm going to measure the brown sugar kind of. I don't want to um, go overboard with it. So I'm going to do like a little, I'm going to do more than two tablespoons, but not that much more. One, two, I will do three because, um, you know, like I said, I put extra of everything in here. So I want to make sure that has the flavor that it's supposed to have. All right, brown sugar. What else did it say? Um, brown sugar, salt and pepper, uh, and cook until most of the liquid has evaporated. All right, let's do salt. A little salt. And black pepper. There's not a lot of liquid though. I would think there would be more liquid. Why isn't there that much? I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder and, and um, onion powder because, you know, that's just the way I roll. That's just the way I roll. Some onion powder. Got to do it, guys. Got to do it. That's the way I roll. I put garlic and onion in everything. Mostly everything garlic even though I have fresh garlic in here need a little need a little and I used to put Worcestershire sauce in my um in my sloppy joes I'm gonna put a drop of Worcestershire too mm. not very saucy which I always thought it was much saucier I like a saucier um I like a saucier Sloppy Joe, but let me see here. Let me see something. All right, let's see. Maybe I didn't, like, did I not do all the ingredients? That's what I'm thinking. Butter, chopped onion, bell pepper, minced garlic, mustard, ketchup, brown sugar, kosher salt. Oh, I forgot that I didn't put kosher salt in. Okay, well, that's all right. Um, yeah. Maybe I should add a little bit more ketchup, guys. What do you think? Because I like it a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more ketchup, and then I'm going to add a little bit of water to it, I think. Just to dry. Because I like it a little sloppy. <laughs> mm. 
Mmm. Smells so yummy. Let's give it a taste. Let's give it a taste, people. Gotta taste your food, guys. Otherwise, you're not gonna know how it tastes if it's good. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. That is so tasty. A little bit of this, and I think it needs a little bit more salt, so I didn't put the kosher salt in, so I'm going to put a little kosher salt in now, since I missed the kosher salt. Just a little bit, not a lot, because I don't want it to change the flavor of it, but I like that little, I like that little tang to it. Where is the kosher salt? I just saw it. A little bit of kosher salt. Cold out. Believe it or not, guys, I really do think it needs a little bit of ketchup. What? It's really cold out. Oh, chilly out. Yeah, I like it. I'm not gonna put any more mustard because the mustard the mustard is definitely enough. I taste the mustard, which is fine because it's delicious. But see all those bits on there? Scrape your pan while you're doing it and all those bits will come up. And I, I'm gonna put a little bit more liquid in it. I just feel like it needs a little liquid. How does it taste so far? What? How does it taste? It's really good. I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid in it. The taste test man is here. He's gotta tell me if I, if I did it right. Put a lot of pepper in it. Let's put one pepper. Camera's over. I want to move your iPad around. Ken, nobody's watching. I can't see you. It's really good. It's really good. <coughs> Let's see what the verdict is. I'm gonna let it simmer just for like three or four minutes. Just let it all marry, all the flavors marry together. Mm. And Interesting, good. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I think it's good. <coughs> Definitely better than manwich. <coughs> I like manwich. Yeah. Well, most people like manwich because it's processed. You know what I mean? But this is delicious. It really is delicious. I'm going to put some cheese on it. Oh, you could put a piece of tomato. You could put lettuce. I'm so excited. I got rolls. I bought these rolls the other last week for, for hamburgers or whatever we wanted for us. So I'm glad I bought them because when I thought of the sloppy joes, I was like, yes, I have rolls. Um, I'll probably just have a half a roll because rolls don't really do well with me with this freaking sleeve. But anyway... Yeah. So I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have a half a bacon, a half a yam with it, and that's gonna be my dinner, guys. And that's simple, simple, simple dinner. Throw all this crap out. Oh, 
this garbage. Not saving any of it because I have stuff in the freezer already. That um that I'm saving for broth, you know, whatever. <clears throat> oh my god, guys. There's a pepper with a little sticker on it. A piece of pepper with a sticker. <laughs> Uh, and the brown sugar. <laughs> and they say to toast your uh, bun because, you know, it could be very obviously sloppy gel. Guys, this is so freaking good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't have it. I'm about to let you go and I think I love you. Oh, yeah. I know I keep doing this, but I feel like it needs more water. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this water. I feel like it needs more moisture. I'm going to I'm going to um, do that, and then I'm going to shut it off and let it sit because it's all done. Everything is all done. And get up all these little treats in here. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Okay. Here we go. I'm so um, I'm ready to eat my dinner, even though it won't be just taking a fill of that. Uh, right, I don't have any tin foil. And um, all my round pizza pans are up here. And I can't reach them, and I'm not getting a stool, so it'll be fine. All right, so I wonder if he's ready to eat, or should I wait? Maybe I'll wait for when he comes over and he's ready to eat. Where are you, Coop? Coopa, you gotta go out? Oh, he's by the door. You go go out? You want everybody to see you go out? All right, guys, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let Cooper out this way. So he can go by his friends because his friends are here. Okay. Wait one second. I'm going to show you. Two, five. show you. Sorry, guys. He's peeing now. <laughs> Here's the pretty field. The, 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 um, these are all gardening fields, you know, where they grow stuff. Love it. He's back. He's done. That's it. Look at the cloudy, crappy day today we're having. Yep. He got, he got his toy. Look at what he's got, guys. Look at what he got. Oh, what do you got? You gonna play? Are you a happy boy? Get on your toy. Get. I'm gonna get that toy. I'm gonna get that toy. Give me, give me, give me that toy. Give me. Go get it. He's so happy, guys. He's such a happy boy. Okay. <laughs> He's so cute. He really is a good boy. <gasps> don't you don't start knocking over my markers. I'll kick your little booty. He'll do that. And he'll do it by accident most of the time. He'll hit it with his tail and they'll all go all over the place. Right? Is that what you do? What? Look, look at the mess here. He um, emptied his bowl after he ate it. And he was playing with the bowl, so now there's rice all over the floor. I have to actually, after I eat dinner, I have to clean up this floor. I haven't swept yet or anything since last night, guys. So um, here's the cookie. Uh, Frankie had some. I sent some home with Jenny. 
Um, we had a little bit more, so we have a whole, like a half a cookie here. But that's okay. Whatever we don't eat, um, I might freeze or um, probably we'll probably eat it over the weekend. Julie will probably come over, have some of it and Darren and stuff. So I think it's going to be fine. Next time I'll make a small one. Well, you know, it depends on what it's for. Oh, you found a piece of meat. He found that piece of meat. Yes, he did. Was that good? Are you ready to eat or you want to wait? Is he going to answer me, guys? No, he's not going to answer me, unfortunately. All right, let me do a couple of things, and then I'm going to get back with you guys with my plate. I'm going to show you. I'm going to toast my bun. I think I'm going to toast my bun. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to have a bun. Oh, it's always a dilemma because it's freaking sleeve, guys. It's always a dilemma. But I definitely want to have the, the full experience of the sloppy joe. So I'm going to make the sandwich. I'm going to toast the bun, make the sandwich. And then if I only eat half, I'll eat half. And I could eat half, eat it, the rest of it later. Or just eat the meat from the rest of the other half. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's what you got to do when you have, when you got the sleeve. You got to come, you have to navigate. It's all navigation because there are things about the sleeve that you don't know. That you don't know that doesn't come up until later on into a year or two when you have the sleeve so that's just stuff that you should know anyway yeah I'll be right back all right people so I'm just getting Cooper's food ready and then I'm gonna eat because um he came in here and he's being nosy so that means that he wants to eat so I put um the hair I put a um a sweet potato in here with him He's got a little bit of rice, and he's got some carrots, and here's the chicken. I made, uh, I boiled, um, I boiled uh, chicken drumsticks for him, and he gets two in the morning and two at night. When, when I give him chicken drumsticks, that's what he gets, two in the morning, two at night. Um, next week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it up. He's been having chicken mostly, and I'm going to switch it up and start giving him some a little uh, beef here and there again. Um, I give him beef. I give him mostly chicken because it's economical, and that's really the honest truth, guys. Sometimes if I have a little extra chopped meat left over, or if I see something that's really like cheap in the store, you know, like a chuck steak or something, I'll give it to him. I'll give him ham steak a little bit. Um, he'll have pork once in a blue moon, very very rarely, and um, I haven't really given him any fish. Um, so, but I can do that too if I want to, but. I don't want to, they, you know, they say you can give them liver and all that. I don't really want to do that. But, I mean, I know it's good for them and all. It's not bad. You know, liver's not bad for them. It's just that I, I, I don't know. I'd rather him have chicken and beef and all that. I don't give him anything processed. Any, chi any meat that's processed. He gets fresh chicken, fresh beef, fresh pork. If I give him pork, you know, once in a blue moon... If I have a can of chicken, um, chicken breast in there, um, in the cabinet, I'll keep in my pantry just for a, a, an emergency. You know, like last night or, or this morning. No, this morning I got up and I realized, oh my God, I had no chicken. So um, I didn't have any cans of chicken in there because I didn't buy it. So, um, and I would have used that in a pinch just having it, but I didn't have any. So I did give him some processed um I gave him Oscar Mayer turkey, which is fine because he has it once in a while. I don't want to hear anything from anybody saying, oh, don't give your dog. You're such a bad mother, a dog mother. You gave him processed turkey. Just cool it. Whoever says that, cool it because he does, he never has it. And if he has it once a month, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, people. All right, let me just, everything else is pretty mushed up. Just making sure there's no bones in here. The carrots, I don't understand why. You Can you tell me why? I buy the frozen carrots, the, the Great Value brand, and I cook them. It says on the bag to cook like six minutes, right? To steam them. They're always hard, always still hard. I've cooked these things for 12, 11, 12 minutes, and they still are firm. I don't get it. I don't know why they don't get soft. I really don't. But um, he can eat them a little bit crunchy because I give him raw. He loves raw carrots. I give him raw carrots. Um, so he can eat them a little crunchy. I just don't like them round and big because I'm afraid he's going to choke on them. And I don't, I never gave, God forbid, I never want to, 
have to give him doggy mouth to mouth. I don't. So I make sure that everything is good for him because I don't want to be worrying about him choking. So his food is all ready. I even put, guys, you know what I do? I love it. And he loves it. I even put a couple of tablespoons full, then I'm gonna put one more of the chicken broth that comes out from the pot, you know, from the, um, from the, um, from where the chickens were, from where the, <laughs> from when I boiled the chickens, God, Linda, speak. Speak like you know how to speak. Is that a bone now? Just a little bit of chicken broth, it makes him, and a trick too, guys, if you can ever get, if your dog never wants to eat, like sometimes, you know, if your dog is being fussy, he doesn't want to eat or something like that, and, um, put a little bit of gravy on top, like a little homemade, a, a couple of tablespoons of gravy or a little bit of chicken broth. Watch how they eat it. Come on, let me eat. Oh, here he goes. Let me eat. Woo. Oh, let, me, let me show you guys. Look at this. Nice, right? That's a, a meal. A meal set for a king. Oh, yes, he is. It's a meal set for a king. Go ahead, eat your food. All right. All right, so he settled. So that's good. I rather, I like what he eats first. Because then I just worry, like, well, I'll be eating. He's looking at me, and I don't want him to feel, you know, like he's hungry. And... All right, guys. Let me get my bun in the toaster. Let me get my bun in the oven. Look, can you see him? He's eating. He's a happy camper. Yes, he is. All right, let's get my bun toasted. You know what I'm gonna do to you guys? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm very excited about this. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I have issues. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it over here. Wait, I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it over there. I'm gonna take a little bit of butter. Give me one second. I'm gonna put a little bit of softened butter on the top of my roll, right? Watch. Well, I'm gonna put it on the top of my roll because I'm going to show you something. And this is just me. A little bit more. Can you guys see this story here? No, you can't. I'm putting butter on the top, right? I'm also going to put some butter on the bottom. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And your butter has to be soft, otherwise it's gonna rip your roll. Mine is just about there. It's just, you know, a little bit hard, but it's pretty good. And this is, you don't have to do this. You can do this if whatever you want. Now, I'm gonna take my, where, everything but the basil seasoning. And this is just me. So the butter, so it will stick on the butter. Put that you could do you could do sesame seeds you could do whatever you want. I'm gonna put it in the toaster and toast it now uh, in my um, air fryer toaster oven thingy. Take everything out. So I don't think I don't. I mean I'm not crazy about having to take everything out, but I don't know. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. All right, let's do toast. We'll do ten minutes. We'll do toast. Oh wait, you don't you don't time the um you don't time it on the toast. 
I'm going to do medium to dark because I like it. I like it um, a little bit brown and crispy. So then I'm going to get cheese. I'm not going to put anything else on it because I have tomato, but the tomato is not ripe enough yet. Otherwise, I would put tomato on, but I can't. I won't. So um, there's onion and and everything in there. There's pepper. So I'm only going to put cheese on mine, which ooh, is going to be so good. So, yeah. So let's get my potato ready. Let's bring you over here. See, and I'm having a roll, so the potato is not really the best choice. But I'll have a half, and I'll try my best to eat to eat the um, to eat the half a sandwich first before I eat the potato. See, that's what I do a lot of times. I'll go for the potato first, and then by the time I go to eat my meat, I'm like, oh, I'm full because I ate the potato because I'm just a carb. I'm a carb addict. I am. I, I'm a carb addict. And that's the God's honest truth. I'm not lying. I'm just gonna cut a couple of knot. I'm uh, cut. I'm gonna um, wash a couple of knives. All our knives are dirty. So. It's toasting. I'm excited. He finished that whole bowl, guys. The whole bowl, he licked it clean. Yep. So I'm gonna take a half. Just love. And I'm gonna take the smaller half. Because I can always go back for that. I can always go back for the other half later on tonight or later on. Not worried about it. Butter. I'm gonna heat this up a minute too because I like I like a hot food and especially I like hot potatoes. I think that's ready. Let's go get the toast out. I'm gonna put it on another plate. I gotta get the cheese. All right, people. I want to tell you something. Let me get my bun out because it's done. Just give me one second. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Guys, look at this. Look at this shit. Look at it. Sorry, I have to say the curse word. Nice and crispy. Now, I like processed cheese on this. Be it as it may, if you guys want to put Whatever, you do whatever you want to do, but this is what I like. So I am putting two slices on my sloppy joe. And this is a sloppy joe. So it's gonna look like a sloppy joe. Okay. Cooper's at the door. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's shut this off. Um, all right, I'm just heating up the uh, Sloppy Joe just a little bit because I want it to be nice and hot. Oh, it's perfect. It's nice and hot. All right, so here we go, guys. Here we go. I just spilled salt all over the freaking counter. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy. Oh, shoot. I have to turn the, um, I have to turn the, the dryer, uh, put my clothes in the dryer. Anyway, um, I'm going to bring this over here because I want to show you guys what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so Courtney from our little gingerbread house gave me a recipe for pickles. 
um, they were 48 hour uh, recipe for sour pickles. Um, so I made two jars and I tasted one before earlier. They weren't ready yet. They weren't, they're not ready. They weren't ready until like 48 hours wasn't until, um, wasn't until 3.30. So it's seven, almost, it's 6.30. So they were really, really good at noon, this, this noon. And so I'm sure they're gonna be even more, they're gonna be even better. I'm telling you. All right, so let's get this on my thing now. Um, let's say, let's, what spoon should I use? I'll use, I'll use this spoon. All right, guys, here it is, look at that. Oh, that looks so freaking yummy. Oh my God, it's gonna be messy, I'm telling you. But that's okay, sloppy joe. Sloppy Joe. Mm. Mm. There we go, guys. Mm. Oh, but what are you doing? Your food is all gone. You ate it already. Oh, I didn't butter um. I didn't butter the top, the inside of my bun. What, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Oh, I don't know. The more butter, the better. Oh, yes. I'm using it. Um, this is sloppy, and I don't freaking care. I don't care. All right. All the pickles that I made, I've never made them with onion, Courtney. But I'm telling you, the onion gives it such nice flavor. Oh, it's delicious. They're delicious. I'm going to taste one now because I want to see. Mmm. Mmm. Courtney, they're so good. So good, thank you. They really are. All right. Here we go. You ready to be sloppy? Are you ready to be sloppy? Because <laughs> this is going to be sloppy. All right, let's take a picture of this first before we mess it up, okay? Let's do that. Love it, guys. Love it. Let's do a thumbnail. My potato's not hot, but that's all right. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. All right, guys, let me get a uh, let me get a paper towel ready. Listen, don't judge me. I'm gonna taste it for you guys because I'm Italian, and that's what we do. <laughs> ready? Can I even do this? gonna be messy but I don't care oh my goodness look at that <laughs> I should have put my bib on my apron mmm guys Guys, the crunch of the of the roll, it makes it. The pickles, mmm. It makes it. Um 
like I said, for me and for people who have had this, the gastric sleeve, or, you know, whatever it may be, too bad. Um... A lot of it will be eaten off the roll, but that's okay. Because I want the experience of the roll. Like when I have a burger, I want the experience of a roll. Otherwise, to me, it's like, what's the freaking sense having a burger? Mmm. Crunch. The crunches are pickles. Really good. It definitely is a sloppy joe. I got news for you. All right. Pickles are awesome. Very excited about them. They're very sour. I like them. Thank you, Courtney, from our little gingerbread house. She just continues to give me such great stuff. Um, she's awesome. So I'm gonna go to the um, I'm gonna go to the living room table with my food, and then I'll come back with you guys. And you saw my food already, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna read my quotes to you. All right, guys, I have a couple of positive quotes that I want to say that I really, really, really like. The first one is. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, then it's not the end. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, then it's not the end. And that's the truth. It's never the end, guys. Never, never the end. And Ed Sheeran said that. The singer. And then there's one more I want to I want to read to you. This one I think is really, really, really good. Really good. When you get tired, learn to rest, not quit. When you get tired, learn to rest, not quit. I love that one, guys. It really is true. Don't quit. Just just rest. Just rest. That's what you got to do. You have to rest. And I've been learning. I've been really trying to focus on that. So I want to read um, a comment, a couple of comments. Um, I, I put up a thing. <gasps> what? Oh, oh no! I thought it was Chuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm watching the news, my local news, and I, it said it showed um, my one of my newsmen on there, but it said dies, and I thought it was him, but it was they were talking about O.J. Simpson again, again, and again, and again. So anyway, yeah, okay now. Um, yeah, I had, I put something up on the community board, if you guys have seen it, about this too shall pass. My mom used to always say that. And so I felt like saying that today and giving people encouragement that if you're going through something, this too shall pass. And a few people made a couple of nice comments. Natalie, uh, W-Y, W, I always do this. Natalie Y M A P J. Just what I needed to hear today. Thank you for sharing and thank you for sharing your life with us. You are a true blessing. Maggie Murphy says, really needed that right now. Thanks so much. My mom said that too. Amen. So true. Debbie 4273 said. Um, yeah. Amen. Missy, Missy from Cooking on a Budget said amen. Um Joan Coffey, I too needed to hear this today. I needed to get over, I need to get over the a rough patch and then all should be okay. Thanks for sharing. So that's why I share, guys. That's why I share because I want to help people, encourage people because I know 
that I'm not the only one that gets up in the morning and struggles. I know it. And it just helps me too to help other people. And it takes the focus off on my issues and by helping others. And so that's why I do this. That's why it's really important to me to encourage, to, to do the encouragement quote, to do the, the positive quotes. I'm sorry. And all of that. So that's what I did. That's what I'm doing. So I'll show you what I, I'll show you my food. And this is what I'm talking about with the sleeve. I told you my intentions were to, to, to use the roll, but this is what I did. This, this is how I eat. This is how I have to eat. So here's the roll. It's like deconstructed. All the, mostly the meat and all the, all the peppers and onions and all that is off of it. I had a little piece of the roll, just a little piece. I bit maybe two or three times, small bites. The whole bottom is still here. My pickles, a couple of my pickles fell out. And I ate half of my, I ate the half of the, um, of the sweet potato. That's how I have to eat things. And I'm still picking at it a little bit, just picking at the meat. It was delicious, whether you have it on a bun or whether you put it on a cracker or whether you just eat it plain. You can put a little rice with it if you want, whatever. So good. So, yeah. I still got the... I still got the Sloppy Joe experience, and that's all I care about. So that's it. All right, guys. So, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It really helps my channel grow when you subscribe, and I really do appreciate it. Like I just said. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. I'm so sorry. Thank you for some for coming into my kitchen with me and um, creating and my home. And I love all of you. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great Thursday night. Bye.